Ice Shard, get my weakness policy, go for this max Wormwind. Oh wow, okay, that's a lot for a Dusclops. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2021 video. Now today is a special day, um, but for the sake of having this video remain relevant past the upload date, I'm not going to say what it is. Anyways, we're using this fun little theme team, we're using an Appleton, not really a theme team, but... It's centered around Appleton, um, not the G-Max, because the G-Max is only really good in singles, but no one really uses Dynamax in singles, so... Uh, we're running Weakness Policy Appleton as our main Pokemon, uh, but before we get into the rest of the team, do me a favor, guys, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I'm bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC content, and comment what you're doing today if you're in uh, the United States, if you're celebrating, comment what you're doing today uh, with your families, if you're hanging out, or... Even if you're not in the U.S., let me know what your plans are today. You're going to have a good day? You're going to work out? You're going to go outside be active? That's always good stuff, you know? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the team. So Appleton is running a very, you know, normal set. Max HP, 4 attack. 4 attack is actually something interesting, but I'm running max special attack quite nature. Uh, he's got a weakness policy with thick fat, apple acid, draco meteor. And the tech here, I want to try something kind of crazy. Um, since I'm not using the G-Max form, I'm using the Dynamax form, it will set up grassy terrain. Since this guy has a, you know, an okay attack stat at 85, what I could try to do is set up grassy terrain, and then once Trick Room's over, I can still actually be a major threat in the field since I have plus two attack for my weakness policy. I can start clicking grassy glide and try to pick up some really sneaky KOs on things. And the thick fat is of course to reduce damage from ice types, and our main activator of the weakness policy is actually going to be this Focus Sash um, Ice Shard Mr. Rhyme. He's got Fake Out, Trick Room, Ice Shard, Freeze Dry, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature with 4 HP. Why Max Speed on a Trick Room Pokemon? Uh, that's because he's still slower than most things with Max Speed, and I want to be able to outspeed most Tapu Fini and be able to two-shot them with Freeze Dry if need be, so that's always good. I have a Shookaberry Stack Attacka. By the way, this team was made in like in like 30 minutes, so th that's why everything's just Max Max. <laughs> Uh, we're running Sugarberry Stack Attack, a Beast Boost, Trick Room, Gyro Ball, Rock Slide, Body Press, pretty standard set. Uh, zero Speed, Zero Speed IVs, uh, Max Attack, Max HP, 4 Defense. A lot of people ask me, why don't you run the Lonely Nature one? And that's because I like being able to click Body Press as a really dangerous offensive option. And the Defense Boost I get for Max Steel Spike plus Beast Boost is really nice, since it actually allows me to take Fighting type moves. So I prefer the bulkier Stack Attack as opposed to the less bulky Stack Attack that actually has trouble living in Earthquake if you give it the Lonely Nature IVs and stuff. So, Torkoal is running a Charcoal, Drought, Heat Wave, Yawn, Body Press, Protect. Yawn is so clutch on Torkoal, more people need to run it. I know it's common, but there are so many Torkoal that aren't running Yawn, and it's such a good move. Uh, it's really good versus Galarian Moltres, you can just Yawn that thing since it's kind of a threat to our team. Uh, zero Speed IVs, Standard Set. Running a Modest Max Special Attack, Max Speed, uh, Venusaur. It should be G-Max, actually. Let me fix that. The G-Max is so much better. <laughs> G-Max. There we go. Uh, this guy's going to be running Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, Lander's Therian, Assault Vest, Rock Fly, <laughs> Rock Fly, Rock Slide, Fly, Earthquake, U-Turn. If you notice, the team doesn't have a lot of Protect users. It has literally two, which is sort of something I'm not used to. I use, I like, I like to run Protect on a lot of my Pokemon, um, but I feel like Venusaur definitely needs the Earth Power to be effective. And yeah, like, honestly... I'm fine with this. The team is bulky enough where I don't really care for Protect, and the Pokemon that aren't running Protect are so bulky that they aren't really going to be bothered by it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I've already done two test, mats yeah, two test matches, and I won both of them, so hopefully uh, I'll be able to pick up some wins here. And this team looks like... it looks like holiday special food, you know? Um, I can definitely go with the Appleton in this matchup. Uh, what's going to be difficult is setting up the Trick Room, but what's fun about this is I can just lead off Mr. Rhyme Stack Attacka, and they always expect the Stack Attacka to go for the Trick Room while the Mr. Rhyme fakes out, and you just don't do that. You just Trick Room with Mr. Rhyme. And I think my last Pokemon is always going to have to be the Torkoal here, so let's hopefully be able to pick up a win here. Uh, if I lose every single match, I don't care, because I'm running an Appleton, and they're usually not very good, so I'll just I'll just say like, hey man, that's the video. I'll upload my losses. That's my, that's my thing, like... A lot of PokeTubers will be like, ah, I lost a lot in this video, I'm just going to scrap it. And granted, I'll do that sometimes if I get absolutely zero wins on a vid. I'm like, well, the team's just bad. Why would I showcase it? But today's a special day, so. So uh, it's very clear to me that they're going to want to either taunt the stack attacker or just try to knock it out with a superpower. Um, I will not allow this. I will actually go ahead and go for my Trick Room. 
Ooh, wait, I should probably get rid of the Clefairy first. I think my play is just to Trick Room with my Mr. Rhyme, and we'll go for a Gyro Ball onto the Clefairy for damage. Or I could even just Rock Slide and then Gyro Ball next turn. Yeah, I think I'd like the damage overall. Ooh, as they get in their own stack attack, uh. Interesting, I'm fine with that. By the way, you guys might hear something from the, uh, you might hear some people talking in the background, and that's just because I'm at home right now. Um, so their stack attack, uh, I think I'm fine with Holiday Special versus Stack Attacka. I could also bring in the Torkoal if need be. I don't want him to get a Beast Boost though, and the Fake Out would be really, really annoying here. Um, I could play this really safe and try to get a KO in the Incinera by Dynamax in this guy. I think I'll do that. Um, I'll get in Holiday Special here. And I'll go for a Max Rockfall to get a Defense Boost from KOing the Incinera. I think that'll do it. Okay, that's fine. We're still getting good damage on the Clefairy, and now I can click Steel Spike, and then I can beat him with Body Press. I think Steel Spike KOs this next turn. Awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is just go for the Apple Acid on the Stack Attack. It's likely going to get redirected, and I'll Steel Spike the Clefairy. If they switch out for Incinera, good play by them, but I think I'm fine. Because the Stack Attack is mainly focused on the Defense Boosts more than anything. They Dynamax theirs. They don't switch out. They Helping Hand, in fact. I'll go for my Steel Spike. Get a nice little defense boost. I won't get knocked out now. I think by anything. Yeah, they Steel Spike. Ooh, they do knock me out. And they are also defensive. But I can get in my Torkoal here. And I can uh, threaten a Yawn. There's their Incineroar. Um, I think my best play is to Yawn them. And to go for another Steel Spike and hopefully win the Speed Tie to ensure I don't get knocked out by a Rock move. Because Torkoal at plus one defense doesn't really die to much, does it? Ooh, they could also just fake out the Torkoal, which is a bit of a concern. Let me Protect here and... I'll go for a Steel Spike on their stack for some damage and then the next turn I can pick up a K with Body Press. I don't think there's zero Speed IVs, or maybe I'm just winning every single Speed Tie. Get a nice little defense boost. I mean, that max rockfall is still going to be scary, but my body press should be doing a lot, especially if I get a KO on this Incinera right here, which I'm going to go for. The rest of their team really doesn't deal well with stack attacka, so it might be like a stack attacka 3v1. Let me attempt a double protect, or maybe... I think I need to keep... I think I need to keep Mr. Rhyme around more than I need to keep Torkoal, so I'll, I'll attempt a double protect, and I'll go for the body press on their Incinera. I fail it, that's fine. Body Press will give me another defense boost. There's their Max Quake, as it does not knock out my Torkoal. And I'm in Sand, so even Tapu Fini isn't really a threat. As they're Thunderous, that's fine. Thunderous doesn't knock me out. I can go for a Body Press on their Stack Attacka and win that, I think. Uh, and Mr. Ryan beats the Thunderous in the end, so what I'll do here is I'll just go for a Yawn on the Thunderous. You know, hopefully knocking it out. And I will body press their stack attack, hopefully KOing it since I'm at plus three and they're only at plus two. They superpower, it doesn't KO me. Do they have body press? I don't know if they have body press. Oh wow, I'm just winning every single speed tie. That's the funny thing. Okay, I win. Because <laughs> uh, all I have to do here is, yeah, yeah, I win. Nice. Let's get another one. Hopefully I can use the uh, Appleton a bit more effectively in this one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So they have Nutcore plus Landorus. I think I can pull it off here. I think I can pull it off. In fact, Appleton isn't really bad because it helps me deal with that. Um, it helps me deal with that Amoongus a lot better. Since it's immune to Spore. I think I go with the same Trick Room setup. I think I have to play Trick Room here. Or I could even just go offensive. Oh my god, wait. Maybe I just go Torkoal Venusaur on lead. I think I'll do that. The Actually, no. They have a couple of options for that, which I don't like. Let's do Trick Room. Uh, let's go Holiday Special, and I'm tempted to go Torkoal. I think that's the best option, but mm, yeah, let's do Torkoal. All right. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they are not Taunt Thunderous, and that they're just going to try to Earthquake to knock me out. Yeah, I think they would just try to Earthquake here. But I could also go for a KO on the lander, so they should be fearful of me. I'll Trick Room here. 
And I think the only way they knock me out is like Earthquake plus Max Airstream. I'm just concerned with Superpower plus Earthquake, really. I'll get in Torkoal here to live the hit. There's the Max Knuckle. Okay, cool. I got my Trick Room off. They knock out the Torkoal. That's fine. And awesome. We are in a very, very good position. I have to be really careful with this Thunders, though, since they're usually Defiant. I can't really go for the moves I want to go for. Hmm. I mean, I can definitely knock out this Landorus, I think. I'll go... I think I lose, to be honest. Because I can't just double into the Thunderous and KO it here. I think my play is to Ice Shard my, my Holiday Special here. And... I need to hope that Mr. Rhyme just lives this turn and that this isn't Assault Vest Landorus, because this will KO, right? I'll max overgrowth the Landorus. I just need them to not knock me out with max airstream. And then next turn I can double into Thunderous for the KO. Ah, they just KO me. Okay, yeah. I don't know if I win this now. There's the Urshifu. It's the dark type. I mean, my... My Trick Room's up and I'm very threatening to their... Thunderous, but I can't knock them out. They should just Sucker Punch my Mr. Rhyme, but I can out-prioritize them by going for Ice Shard into the Thunderous. And or I could actually just double into this Urshifu and hope for the best. I don't think plus one Max Knuckle knocks me out. Yeah, I'm going to Ice Shard and go for a Body Press. As they Sucker Punch. Body Press does not KO, unfortunately, as they Max Knuckle me. I can go for a Rock Slide. I think the super, I think I'm with range of I, uh, I think I'm within range of superpower, but I just need one flinch on this guy and I win. And I also need to flinch the Urshifu because I don't think this KOs. <laughs> come on, stack attacka, come on, you got this. You're like the MVP of the team, to be honest. They're thinking. They're like, how do I play this out? They detect, okay. Good play, good play. There's still one turn of Trick Room. They're gonna get some recovery though. I still have to just go for it. Still just have to go for it. If I get the defense boost from the Thunderous, um, I don't think they knock me out with close combat. So if I flinch here and knock out the Thunderous, I might win. Okay, just give me the Thunderous. <laughs> I get the defense boost, which is great. And now my play is just to body press the Urshifu and hope I can live a hit. <laughs> Come on. Stack. Oh, he's Meteor Beam. Oh, no. Oh, he missed. There's a close combat. Oh, no. Yeah, I think I lose since they're at plus one now. Oh, wait, no. It depends. Are they running? Here's the thing. If they're running both Meteor Beam and Power Gem, I lose. But if they're just running Meteor Beam and Sludge Bomb, I win. So let's just hope for the best. Let's just hope for the best. Maybe I just, maybe I just got really lucky there. Oh yeah, they have Power Gym. Good game. Good game. There are some people that are crazy enough to not run Meteor Beam with Power Gym. You definitely need both. <laughs> you definitely need both to get the most out of the set, you know? Okay. This once again doesn't look too bad for Holiday Special here. Um, I still haven't been able to like absolutely sweep, which is a little bit disappointing. I think here, I have to go Trick Room still. I think I still have to go Trick Room. Standard setup, <laughs> the stack attack, uh, Mr. Rhyme has not failed to get up Trick Room yet. Um, and I wanna go, I wanna go Landorus in the back, but I also wanna go Torkoal. I think Torkoal is overall better for the matchup, but it leaves me a bit, a bit weak to Nihil ago, but you know, all right. Uh, I'm going to say here they're just going to Trick Room on my Trick Room and try to catch me off guard with that. So I might just try to KO the Dragapult. Or I could just fake out their Nihiligo in Trick Room. I might just go for that. Yeah, I don't see how they could stop that. They would have to Dynamax here. 
And if they Dynamax, they don't they don't stop the Trick Room. So it's one or the other. They have to choose. And the Sash on the Mr. Rhyme is so clutch, dude. I 100% have to get off the Trick Room, though, if I want to beat the, uh, the Amoongus in the back. Since it'll outspeed me and put me to sleep otherwise. Alright, and now I can Gyro Ball to knock out that Nihiligo. And I'll just go for the Freeze Dry and the Dragapult. I don't really think they have much of an out here. <laughs> Their entire team's weak to stack attack, especially if I get this uh, plus one defense. Yeah, I think I'm good now. Let me freeze dry for damage. That's just an Oko because I'm modest. And I think I win. Like everything in the back just loses to this, to these two. There's a Glacier. There's the Urshifu. Um. I can just body press, knock out the Urshifu. I don't think I Dynamax yet, just to play it safe. My play is Ice Shard to break a possible Sash, body press to KO. Nice, I get plus two defense now. They max Knuckle me. It does like nothing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll get in the Torkoal here for a little bit more offensive pressure and we'll start clicking Steel Spike. Let's see if they're policy. Nope, they're not. Oh wait, did they already reveal Life Orb? No, they didn't. What is their item? They are they White Herb? Anyways, I win. <laughs> Let me get a win with the Appleton. I really want to win with Appleton because the last, the games I played before I recorded were all Appleton like victories. So a bit disappointed so far. I have no idea what this is going to do because I haven't seen Blacephalon without Cole in a while. Hmm. I mean, this lead definitely can't stop the rhyme stack. I'm going to go Holiday Special in the lead again, and I feel bad just leaving Venusaur and Landorus out of every single game so far, but it's it's genuinely another Torkoal matchup. It's genuinely just another matchup where Torkoal is good. <laughs> like, look look at this. They have two resists to Torkoal, and it's a Blacephalon, which hardly counts as a resist, especially if the sun's up, and a Tapu Fini, which gets dealt with by every other member of the team. Literally every other, every other member of the team can deal with Tapu Fini. Right, there's the Feromosa, there's the Blacephalon. Um, like I said, they can't really stop this setup. If they go for... Let me think, actually, can they? I'm Focus Sash, Mr. Rhyme. I would think that they would just double into the stack attack here, so I might just give them the stack. I'll Trick Room up, anticipating them to want to KO stack. And I'll just go for Rock Slide for damage. If they give me the Trick Room at Mr. Rhyme, I think I just win on lead, though. I have to be real careful with that Glacier. What if they're Speed Swap? If they Speed Swap into the Glacier, <laughs> they just ruined it for themselves, you know? I don't think they're, I don't think they're dumb enough to do that right now, though, since uh, I'm definitely getting Trick Room up. Yeah, the only way they stop this is by doubling into Mr. Rhyme, which is so unlikely. Let me turn on the timer. Oh, and I forgot to say GLHF. Why am I not being... Why am I not being to, uh, polite today, you know? It seems my internet connection's pretty slow right now. There we go. As they send in the Tapu Fini, oh. Oh, it is gamer time. It is absolutely gamer time now. Because I got the KO on the Blacephalon. I can definitely go for an Ice Shard into the, um, into the stack attack a slot while I switch it out for the Appleton as it takes a water move. Telepathy Finny is interesting. That's actually really good for me, because that means they don't uh, they don't mess up the power of my dragon moves. There's the Glacier. Um, I'm going to say this is a really risky play, but I'm going to do it anyways. I probably lose by doing this, but I think they're just going to go for like a Max Quake or a Max Knuckle. They shouldn't go for an Ice move. So I'm going to send an Holiday Special here and probably lose them. <laughs> they should go for like a, a Muddy Water plus a, plus a Max Knuckle, I would assume, thinking I'm going to Dynamax. 
And then I can send in my, I can send in my Torkoal and help out a bit. Hopefully it's a Max Quake. Oh, Max Knuckle, I can take that. Not well, mind you, not well, but I take it. Oh, they went for a Dazzling Gleam? Dang, okay. Well, that's still not good. Um, how do I do this? I think I Steel Spike Heat Wave, and that's my best bet. Because Torkoal can live a hit, right? Hmm. Or maybe I just Max Flare. I mean, Torkoal doesn't hit hard, though. It hits... It's not that strong. I think my Steel Spike ends up hitting harder and I get more out of it. There's the Pheromosa, okay. I don't think this KOs. Oh, we get the KO, we win, okay. <laughs> awesome, stack coming in clutch. Go for this uh, max. I get more out of the sun, so we're good. Dang, I just want to get this. I want to get this Appleton win, so I can say that I actually won with the Appleton, you know. But so far, I've just been making suboptimal plays and trying to force it. But that's what happens when I start winning with the team, but it's not the one I want to use. I start just trying to like shoehorn it in there. I'm like, come on, Appleton, you got this. You got this. I'm surprised they didn't just go for the water move. I mean, Muddy Water is less accurate, but I guess they were guaranteed to knock out the stack there. I guess that made sense. Okay, okay this is actually like a really good game for Mr. Rhyme. Um, I don't think they set up Trick Room on their own, though. I think I actually just lead Rhyme. I could lead Rhyme here, but uh, I don't feel comfortable versus what's going on. Hmm. I'll just go rhyme stack. Oh, are we just using the same team every single time? It feels like it. It, it definitely feels like it because it's just it, that's the only way I'm going to get a win with Appleton is with this setup. I mean, Landris, I don't want to bring because this guy ignores the attack drop. This guy benefits from it. He hits a couple other things for super effective, but it's not worth it. In my opinion, I'll just go Torkoal, you know. And I don't want to go with Venusaur because Venusaur v Thunderous is a very iffy situation. A lot of them are carrying Lumberry at the moment, so they just ignore the sleep if I even land it. There's Thunderous, there's Urshifu Rapid Strike. Ooh, this is actually a very interesting one. I think here they would still just knock out the stack attacka, but this is a very good this is a very good situation for my um for my Appleton. Let me just go for the Trick Room. They should try to knock out Stack Attacka. And I'll go for Rock Slide damage to get to break the sash on the Urshifu, I assume, and probably knock out the Thunderous if they don't just, you know, attack. I think their play here is just to knock out the stack, though. They should not target Mr. Rhyme. Okay, we got the Trick Room off, especially since he, uh... <laughs> oh, he's Life Orb. That's why he knocked me out. G-Max Rapid Flow. We still have our Sash, though. We still got the Sash. Let me send in the Holiday Special. Let me go for this Ice Shard. And we will also just go for the Max Wormwind to, uh... Lower the attack of the Urshifu. And knock out that Thunderous. I, I just really want this to work out. <laughs> he has quite a few things to resist this guy and even like just knock me out back. Luckily, I'm not weak to the Torkoal. All right, come on. How much is this going to do? I really want to know how much this is going to do. Let me see. Ice Shard. Ice Shard. Get my weakness policy. Go for this Max Wormwind. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot for a Dusclops. There's the Max Knuckle. He should be very afraid here. Let me get in the Torkoal. Um, do I underspeed Dusclops? I always forget. I think Torkoal is... Yeah, Torkoal is just slightly slower. Let me go for my Heat Wave, which will knock out the Dust Cops. Let me go for my Max Overgrowth on the Urshifu. And hopefully I can click Grassy Glide this game. I have not clicked it yet. I haven't clicked anything with, <laughs> with Holiday Special, to be honest. As they send in their Torkoal, I miss them, uh, but I'm not weak to them, which is great. Get my Max Overgrowth off. And dang, they do not take this... <laughs> They did not take this very well. Yeah, I won. Awesome. We got the win with the Appleton. That was a lot, dude. Appleton does does a lot of damage at plus two, but I suppose everything does a lot of damage at plus two, especially in a format where uh, Dust Cops doesn't run a lot of special defense. So let's get one more for the video. Hopefully we can make another Appleton win, and hopefully I can click Grassy Glide. I just really want to click that. 
It's meant to be like a nice little tech move. And so far it has not come in handy, but I'm sure if I were to play like 200 matches, it'd be really clutch. And it's not like there's a move that Appleton wants to move more or wants to use more in that slot. It's very dependent on like the team. Like I could I could run Leech Seed, right? But I just like why would I run Leech Seed on a all out attacker, you feel? Okay. So standard screens plus Glacier. Mr. Rhyme goes absolutely stupid here. Let me go standard setup. And it's it's the last battle of the video. I'm just gonna go for the for the gimmick. I'm just gonna go for the gimmick. I don't care if it's a bad matchup. I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully I can click, <laughs> click. Hopefully I can click Grassy Glide and win a game. All right. So they go Glacier. Uh, they go Glacier here. I don't know if they would fake out the Mr. Rhyme. I'm very cautious about this. I think they would just go for screens even. I definitely want the trick room for my stack. I don't want to give him weakness policy though. Not until I have a ton of defense boosts. Uh, let me go for the rock fall on the Raichu and hopefully he doesn't fake out stack. Okay, or I meant Mr. Rhyme. Those are the steel spike. I got my sash. We're going to knock out that Raichu, I think. Ooh. It's got a lot of notifications. And it is Sash Raichu, so unfortunately, um, he's going to die and we don't get the defense boost. I can send in Torkoal here, though. Torkoal has a lot of offensive pressure. As they have their Dust Clops. Um, I kind of want to just go for the Yawn, but I have a feeling they brought their Tapu Fini. I'm going to go for the Yawn, and I'm actually just going to Steel Spike the Dust Clops to avoid giving them a weakness policy, as they end up bringing the Incineroar, which is great for me. Oh, dang it. <laughs> so now they're just going to Yawn uh, with, or they're just going to fake out the stack of or the Torkoal. So my play here is to protect to minimize damage, and I don't want to give them their weakness. Oh wait, their Life Orb. I'm an idiot. I keep saying that when they don't have it. <laughs> Let me go for the Steel Spike in the Glacier. Because I don't think Rockfall does it from this range in the Incineroar. And I still have a couple of turns of Trick Room. I'm an idiot. I keep saying weakness policy when Life Orb Glacier has been picking up in usage. Alright. Um, they don't take this combination of moves. Body Press plus Heat Wave. They also don't knock me out with anything though. So I'll just go for the Heat Wave and I'll Body Press into it. Actually, I don't think Incineroar even stays in. I don't think Incineroar even stays in in this situation. Let me just body press the Glacier. Is he going to Parting Shot? Yeah, there's the Parting Shot, but I, I don't really care since he's within range of body press plus Heat Wave regardless, I think. He would need another Protector just to switch out. Let me go for it. Oh, wait. Yeah, I just double body press actually now since I'm at minus one. Double body press. Don't get the double protect. That'd be so annoying. That'd be so annoying if you got it. Okay, that's fine. We get another defense boost by knocking out the Incineroar. And he's probably just going to burn me, but I don't think he beats Torkoal now. I almost feel as though he just protects here and tries to go for a burn. So, um, controversial play. I'm going to yawn. <laughs> I'm going to yawn the Dust Clops in case he doesn't just protect Glacier. And I'll go for the Body Press on the Glacier as well. High Horsepower, that's doing nothing. <laughs> 25% times 4 effective move. Nightshade. Let me yawn this guy, and I think the Body Press will do it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So good game. Uh, he doesn't really have an out here, especially if I just switch out into Holiday Special. Let me reset and go for a Rock Slide to flinch. Uh, my body presses don't do much, so the most offensive pressure I have is by just switching out and clicking Heat Wave and Rock Slide. And also just the weakness policy on the on the uh, Appleton after clicking like Apple Acid a few times. Whatever. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, whatever, bro? Let me Apple Acid you. Let me get in the Torkoal.
He's thinking. I don't know why he's thinking. I win. Because <laughs> I'm just going to drop a special defense. Yeah, all right. Good game. He seemed a little bit annoyed, but, you know, I'll take it. I'll take the salt. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Sorry we only got one Appleton win. I still think it's a really solid team. Uh, Appleton obviously isn't ideal here, but... I think that Mr. Rhyme plus stack is pretty gross, especially since they can't tell where the trick room is coming out from. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all uh, for sticking around, helping me get to uh, nearly 19,000. Or actually, am I at 19,000? I don't know, but I'm almost at 19,000 subscribers, I think. Uh, we're nearly at 20K too, so do me a favor. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like. Join the Discord. Do whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.